Hello everybody, this is That One Project, and I am, I decided to go away from my usual video tutorial of, about a computer and show you something about an iPod Touch. I have recently jailbroken my iPod Touch, it's so I can download third party applications and such, and today I'm going to show you how to customize a jailbroken iPod Touch for, you know, custom sliders like this bullet hole one, have a calendar, stuff like that. So, as you may see, I have a picture on my background, my old dog, and I have a five icon dock. And you can also customize what your icons look like and stuff. So, what you need is your jailbroken iPod Touch, um, and installer and Cydia. Now, you want a certain application, it is called Winterboard. So, go into Cydia, open that up. Mine takes a while because of all the packages I have on it. Alright. There are actually two things you're going to need. Um, and I will show you them both. One's from Installer and one is from Cydia. So, once you have Cydia open and everything, you want to, at the bottom, go to, um, search. Tap on that. And you want to search for something called Winterboard. W-I-N-T-E-R-B-O-A-R-D. Um, oh yeah, there's so many things for it. It would be down, whoops, in the W's. Um, hang on. Right here, winter board. See that? Tap on it. You will be able to see everything. It should be that icon. Um, there's everything here, just forget about reading it. Um, up here it should say install, not modify. And then so you tap on that and tap where it is again to confirm it and install it. And then once you've installed Winterboard, you, you want to go to Installer. And then once you're in Installer, you go to Categories. Yeah categories. There we go. Um, it should be, um, can't remember what it's under, but you can search for it. I have it under installed packages because I already have it installed, but it is called Kate right there. You want to download that. You can search for it in the search tab. Search for Kate. I'll do that right now just to show you. Come on. Oh, there are tasks it has to do, but um, so what? So you do want to download Kate, and that's pretty much it. And once you have those two downloaded, um, first I'm going to show you how to have themes and stuff like that. So, open up Cydia again to find a theme that you might like. There are plenty of different themes, it's an unimaginable amount of themes. And these are in both Cydia and Installer, but in Installer you have to um, download a source package. I might have that link in the description for the source package. So anyways, um, for this you go into Sections for Themes, scroll down, down, and here are all these themes right here. And these are all pretty much for Winterboard, which you downloaded. So I'm just going to go find one. I'll I'll do battery because it's fun to have a battery theme. And then here are all the these different themes. Um find one that you might like. I'm just gonna choose Alkaline Energizer Battery and install it. I'm not going to. Usually it says um for winterboard right there in the description. So install any theme you like. 
I already have several. So, yeah. And then you open up the application that you got, Winterboard, that you downloaded. Takes a second. And then I have many more things on here than you would because I've downloaded several things, but I didn't download the alkaline battery because I have a Simpsons battery, which is, you know, a donut or something. So anyways, you can download many different themes, and all you have to do to activate them is tap on them. Like, here's the brilliant golden mega theme, they call it. So you just tap on it to make a check mark appear, push the home button. You should see a little loading sign appear in just a second. Is that loading sign? Now this takes a, um, this takes a second. It'll, um, like, put your iPod into sleep mode or whatever and then turn it right back on. I'm not quite sure. The golden theme that I have is okay, you know. Waiting, 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 waiting. Alright, so, and then you slide to unlock it. And here's the golden theme. You know, it has... Um, you might not be able to see it that well, but has, and it changes certain things to look special. I don't really like it because it only changes some of them. See, and it keeps others the same. And it changes the top a little bit. And, yeah. So, I don't really like that theme, so I'm going to take it off and after the video, but now how to, um, oh, you know what? I'm going to take it off right now. I'm going to take it off right now because... I need to show you it for, I need to take that off for the um, background picture image. So you may have noticed that you down, that you had to download Kate, which is something weird because it doesn't show up on your dock. So hang on, I have to take off the golden theme. Not has a load. But what Kate, Kate is actually puts itself into your settings. So, and with Kate, you can change the font of all of your text that you have. Sometimes it makes it look weird like that for a second when you're loading with Winterboard. But, um, with Kate, you can change the font, I think color of all the text, stuff like that. So, there. And now, since you've downloaded Kate, you go to your settings tab, right there. Should it look like that? And then scroll down to RIP DEV. RIP DEV products. And now you go into licenses and tap on ask for trials trial license. I already did that, but I don't really know what it does, but I don't think you can do anything if you don't do that. But anyways, then here there's all this stuff. A lot of it's for iPod, uh, I mean iPhone, I, uh, like system dialer and privacy, I guess. I don't know, but I don't use anything really. There is iCalendar, which you can make a calendar show up um, you know, on your lock screen. But you, what you want to do is facelift right there. Now there's all this stuff you can do. Um, there's black screen wallpaper you can change. Springboard is like, you know, your main, um, like the main interface, the home of your iPod. So you can go to display wallpaper on and then choose whatever wallpaper you want. I have my dog, as I said. Oops. Um, and you can change the theme, kind of like Winterboard, I guess. Um, and then for the five icon dock, you just push on or off, just tap it to turn it off. Whoops. Um turn that back on. Um and then that's pretty much it for the five icon dock. Then you just drag an icon in or out of the dock to make it bigger if you want. So that's my video tutorial. I hope you liked it. Subscribe, rate, and comment, please.